Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got the Traxxas X Max. It's out with us. Let's give it a, a go. So before I've done anything, you need to turn on the transmitter first, and then turn on the car, and then pop this body back on and click it into place. That quick release mechanism is absolutely fantastic. By far, one of the best, actually the best way to get your body off your vehicle rather than having these little clips everywhere the clips do a good job the clips do a very good job but it's just so much easier with uh, with this um, with the uh, with that clip at the back with that great big thing at the back that is so much nicer right then so what I got planned for today well we're gonna take this out to begin with and we're gonna see exactly how she does so I've got full steering, let's take her out. So for the minute, I'm just gonna break in this motor a little bit and I'm just gonna get a feel for the vehicle because when you buy this, it does say you need skill set six in order to drive this. And my skill set is bordering on two. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go for this. We're gonna see exactly how well she goes. Do you know what? <laughs> Already this thing is absolutely ridiculous, but in a great way. Right, any people? Off we go. Let's open her up a little bit. Let's pull that back. My God, okay. So this is running 6S at the minute, not running 8S, because I wanted to get a feel for her in 6S, for how she turns, for how she corners, for how she moves. And she sounds like a like she sounds like thunder. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it really that those rubber tires. Listen, it sounds like rolling thunder. Is what it sounds like. Oh, that there we are. That tree didn't stop it. My God. <laughs> oh, right then. Okay, let's start to open her up and start to see what she's capable of. Oh, you beauty, you beauty. <laughs> ah, what the hell have I bought? <laughs> oh my God, right, come on in. Oh, that's suspension. Well, you'd expect this is the biggest car I've ever driven. Um, obviously discounting an actual car. <laughs> Whoa, John. Be careful, you will take out your shins. Right. Little bash there. What I want to look at next though, is I want to look at this Traxxas link. So what makes it quite difficult for this is that there's nowhere on here to mount the Traxxas link. But I want to get a feel for how the Traxxas link works. So if I just record my screen, click on dashboard, and then the building dashboard bit should come up. So you've got your top speed, you've got your temperature, you've got your battery percentage, as well as your battery in the top left. To sorry, the top right and your transmitter in the top left. Oh, right. I'll be putting this up on board uh, on the screen. But for the minute, I've got to keep my eye and actually control this. So I'm not going to be holding up my phone as well. <laughs> that was... Right, let's go. <laughs> Off comes my uh, my uh, GoPro. Just on the run cam. I'm trying not to hit that sapling. I don't want to hit that sapling. Right. Turning circle is actually quite small for something so large. Did not expect that. Just power it up this hill. I, I, I at, at every moment of the second, I'm driving half throttle. She's taken half the forest with her. <laughs> My God, she is. I'm going to nickname this one Rolling Thunder. Absolutely. Those tyres, the grip on the things is absolutely incredible. It's insane. Turning circle really small. Acceleration is, is actually really nice on 6S. It doesn't make, make you feel as if you are going to lose control 
you've just quite literally got enough acceleration to not wheel you but that front end doesn't half come up so you know if you pull that throttle back all the way and quickly on 8s you're going to lose that front with those those front wheels and they are just going to come straight up three wheels there we go good girl wheelies on success as well so the batteries i'm running these on uh, my overlanders 4000 milliamp hour each oh good god this thing makes some noise right look at the look at, look at the tire tracks in the mud okay let's go for a little little walk then mr x max let's go down here and see what we've got so top speed i've hit on this is 33 miles an hour as you can see there and the battery of the vehicle has just dropped down one point so we've got a lot of battery left Oh yes, please mate. Right, doing more of that. <laughs> Up you go. Good God, this thing is it's just 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 has so much power at your fingertip. I'm pulling the throttle back, expecting the wheels just to spin. Yes, I know what you're all thinking. GD, you're not letting it go up down that fast enough. No, I'm not. <laughs> Nowhere near it. Okay, a bit more speed. I don't want to hit the branch above it. See. well done well done up she goes up she goes let's reverse her a little bit there <laughs> oh go on fella <laughs> oh. right round we go round the tree over the, the what was that the campfire probably oh lovely tumble run cam has been piled into the floor but it's still recording good old mr run cam so damage report no damage <laughs> oh what the hell have i bought right okay up we go oh. <laughs> that was a little bit tricky for it let me put a run cam in my pocket for a minute oh that's right my pocket is now soaking wet nice so reverse, let's see what we got. Reverse is good, there we are. That's about as much reverse as we're gonna see. So clearly, as I'm sure you can all see, I really need to, oh, that came down hard on that, uh, on that, that bracket. The actual, the overall driving experience is actually really, really very, very intoxicating. You, you get the feeling that you're Normally with a truck, I mean, I, I've only ever got the experience from like, you know, a, a 110 is like the biggest I've ever driven. And you, <laughs> and you, um, I get the feeling when I drive a 110 that it's just a simple case of, oh, you know, it's, it's a 110. There's not much damage you can do, you know, worst case scenario, you're going to, uh, you're going to break something, you have to replace it and that's it. Whereas with this, I think to myself, do you know what? I don't think it would really matter what I did to this thing. I think it would still come out. Even if I broke it, it would still it would still try and work. This thing just feels as if it's just unstoppable. And I know that's quite a silly thing to say in the RC world, but at the same time, it's just, it's just a feeling I'm getting because it's it's just ridiculous. This this whole thing is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the size of it. It's got no problem in getting up there. The size of it is just incredible. <laughs> the control I've got, I just got hit in the face by mud. The control I've got is just insane. Even on this 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 mulch, and anybody who's driven RC cars will know this mulch is a nightmare for speed, control, for movement, for anything. But not with this thing. Because you've got that weight, you've got those huge stupid tires. And it just you have absolutely no problem whatsoever in actually controlling her and seeing what she's capable of and she's showing it in spades i mean drifting down that hill then was just beautiful i mean something this big can do that little mini jumps bigger jumps you know 
but how do I, what do I feel about the materials used? Because I know that's going to be some of your questions. Well, I feel that these materials used are quite heavy duty, but it's the same as everything, you know, they, they have a, ooh, what's that? What's that noise? Oh, don't know. That was a weird noise, like a clicking sound, like a gear sound. That's what that was. That's quite interesting. So, yeah, just an absolute, an absolute demon. I'd be quite interested to find out what the hell that clicking sound was. Maybe some mud has got in with the gearing or something. I don't know, but it did look totally enclosed. But then, as I say, I'm I'm new to Traxxas. I'm new to this, so to this sort of stuff, you know, this uh, the, the X Max. So I, I I haven't had a proper look at how it's all encased yet because I didn't want to take it apart before I uh, before I'd done the first before I'd actually done the first initial run. But yeah, she is uh, for the for for the money spent. I don't think I think it could be cheaper. I really do. I re in fact I know this thing could be cheaper. But at the same time, for the money spent, I am I am very very satisfied. Very very satisfied. Right, update. Look at the state of this thing. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, fantastic though. Do you know what? Just, just, just next level this thing is. Straight through any puddle, straight through anything. Not straight through a, a bench though, so just FYI. If you try to take her through a bench, she won't go. But, God. Oh, oh, God, those tyres are gripping, but only just, only just. Oh, that was a bit too deep. Oh, and that was, nobody coming. Oh, I think that motor is dying a bit now. So before it does, I just want to, not motor, sorry, battery. I just want to get, Let's get some more Traxxas Link action on the go. Traxxas Link. Let's get some recording. Right. So vehicle battery is showing non-existent. So it's probably on its way out. Because to be fair, this thing does pull the amps. Really pulls the amps. I mean, no, yeah, it's it's on its last legs. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean her off a bit, I think. You can hear, she's not as happy as she once was. So do you know what, little, little X-Max? Well, little, you're not little, but I'm gonna give you a bit of a bath. At least on your wheels a bit. Because I've still got to carry you home. Right then, okay, let's see how far you can uh, you can go back then. But do you know what? Absolutely astounded with that. Absolutely astounded. I know for a fact, there's a few things now I know, right? So, I know I'm going to break this because I didn't want to go too hard today. I wanted to just have a full video where she didn't break, I didn't break her and everything was going to work. So, we went quite hard, we had a couple of crashes, but it's nothing compared to what I got planned for this later on this afternoon. Um, this, this is just an incredible, incredible machine. Um, now, I do feel that there are a couple of downsides for me personally. One of them being that it is just so goddamn large to get it absolutely anywhere. There's no bag that I have in my house that fits this thing. Uh, there is absolutely nothing that fits this thing in my house. So... I am just going to have to see exactly how how she does and I'm going to have to see exactly what bag I can buy I'm just going to have to measure her and get the dimensions I know she's 79 centimetres long but that's pretty much all I know 
Uh, she weighs a ton, absolutely as you'd expect, uh, about 9.8 kilograms, 10 kilograms, um, which, you know, for somebody who doesn't drive like me, it does make it a little bit difficult. But at the same time, it doesn't make it impossible. It just means that you're going to get a lot of questions like I had coming down to here today. What is that? Uh, <laughs> is it petrol? Is it battery? What is it? Um, so yeah, I think to be perfectly honest with you, I think it's a great buy, but you've got to consider the size and you've got to consider the weight. But I do think it is very expensive uh, because at the same time, uh, no matter which way you throw it, it's just a car. You know, I'm sorry for saying that, but that's just my thoughts. You know, that's why I do this, so I can tell you exactly what I think. And I think, yeah, it's fantastic, but no matter which way you slice it, it's just a car and that's it. Uh, but it's a fun car and it's one that we're gonna have no end of fun with and there's a dog up there Great. I think this is an excellent 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 truck in another aspect. I think it's gonna be You don't buy something like this if you don't want to maintain it and if you don't want to clean it And if you don't want to if you don't want to um, Buy parts for it because they're gonna be expensive Of course they are if you go for the actual Traxxas parts if you don't if you go for aftermarket parts might be a little bit tougher which in in course might not be as good they might break other parts because they haven't got those brake centers um but all in all i'm prepared to do whatever the hell this truck wants me to do to be perfectly honest with you absolutely it is a beauty and i am made up that i have it and i do not in any way shape or form regret my purchase of this i think this is going to be well i know this is going to be a really excellent truck and something that we're gonna we're gonna follow and something that we're gonna do up over time and it's actually gonna become synonymous with the channel and that really excites me right then folks thank you ever so much for watching i'm gonna leave that there i'm gonna go and figure out how the hell i'm gonna get this home and not get full of mud myself thanks ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy bashing Right then, let's turn you off, old girl. Oh, that's not good, I couldn't open the latch. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> oh look at the state of you. Right, somebody is going to need a very big clean when they go home.